Hello friends, today I am going to talk about what is router and why do we need that. Let's get started and jump into this. So first we talk about what is router. Router is an internet working device which connects two or more subnets together. So uh, what do you mean by two or more subnets? So the example I would like to give is this. This is one router. Always I am bad uh, drawing but somehow I am drawing here. Okay, so here is one uh, subnet IP uh, and there is another subnet IP. Subnet uh, I am talking about here is network. So if you have two networks, different different networks and you want to make communication between these, of course you require a gateway or a router. So router here is acting as a gateway between two subnets and of course all the ports on the router, they will be in unique subnet you cannot uh, assign 1000 network here and 1000 again here that's gonna overlap so we require a device which can make communication between our two networks that is router so let's talk about something else about router router is an intelligent device why do we call it intelligent because router can take decision itself and router can decide which path to choose and which path not to choose. So I give an example here, uh, very basic example. For example, I have one router and one more router, one more router and one more router. And here, this is the scenario. And here is my source PC and here is my destination. Okay, and I'm, I am going to send packet from source to destination here. So router is going to decide which path is better for uh, for destination. It will automatically decide based on what we configure. So whatever we tell router, you send packet via this link or that link, router is going to take decision based on kind of calculation it automatically does. So that's again beauty of a router. Okay. Something else I would like to talk about is router acts as a gateway. So gateway is important when you want to send tra traffic out of your network, then you require a gateway. Otherwise, you don't require a gateway. So every PC in our network, they must have gateway if they are going to send packet out of the network. So let's take an example here. This router has two computers and both the computers are connected via a switch and this router is connected to ISP this PC has 1.1.1.1 this PC has 1.1.1.2 and here I have three if they are talking to each other they are internal they can send traffic without any gateway if you are going to access internet that's out, outside our network then you require IP address of your router means the gateway who is uh, facing the internet so 1.1.1.3 both the devices they will have aha uh -huh. gateway yeah that's how they are gonna work otherwise your devices will not send data out of the network so they must know where is my exit point so gateway is acting as uh, an exit point here Okay, so let's understand something more about router. Router is layer 3 device. We call it layer 3 because it works in network layer of OSI. If you uh, have studied OSI, then you can understand what I'm talking about. So layer 3 means I can say router understands only IP packets. It takes decision based on IP packets. So it checks, okay, what is the source IP and what is destination IP. Then it's gonna take decision and finalize where to send packet. Router has operating system. We have modular and non-modular uh, routers. So all type of routers they have operating systems. So most uh, probably I have seen a lot of uh, operating system. This is my favorite one. This is my second favorite, and I'm not aware about uh, NOS more. Comver, I am familiar with Comver. So, iOS from Cisco, Juno is from Juniper, NOS from 
uh, Avea and uh, Comware from HP or uh, nowadays from HP but it was from 3Com under the company so there are a lot of operating systems for every router now I would talk about why do we need router as I told router is an intelligent device it takes decision uh, based on the traffic based on uh, the total delay so a lot, lot of formulas are there in inside the router router takes decision based on on whatever formula you apply uh, you configure so I can say routing protocol instead of saying formulas here so router has the routing features so router can define the best path some other features you can control your traffic so there are tons of features uh, which you can learn in uh, further study like if you study CCNA or CCNP or CCIE then you can uh, learn a lot of other features of router now this is the icon always uh, we must remember this represents router this device uh, from Cisco uh, wireless device and this is a router and uh, this is from Juniper this is from HP and this device is from Nortel there are a lot of companies local companies also you see D-Link, D-Link, TP-Link, uh, PSNL and some other companies also I don't remember a lot of names but uh, we must understand router has operating system we talk about the ports of uh, ports and components of router the ports if I talk about I categorized all these ports in uh, some divisions so I say here external ports and internal ports or internal circuit so external port has uh, some categories if you understand based on the category we can easily understand so administrative port and uh, uh, there is a LAN port and WAN ports and the USB port some other type of ports you might see maybe firewall port on some uh, some other devices but let's talk about administrative port administrative port generally we use to manage the manage the device so here is my console port and here is my auxiliary port console port generally we use to configure router first time or suppose your operating system does not have the operating system or you forgot your password then you come to router and final the port is to uh, reconfigure the router or reinstall the operating system you use this port console port and this port you can say is local admin port local admin port means physically you go to uh, device and connect a cable to device via your laptop or pc then you access it but if you are not uh, next to the device and you want to still access the device then you can access via auxiliary port so we can call it remote admin port so this is my local admin console port and this is my remote admin port how would you connect that this you will connect directly with pc so console port will directly go to your computer via console cable and this auxiliary port will go to modem then modem to internet so you will be able to access your router using public IP so here we can talk about administrative port and uh, those ports we use to manage the router LAN ports we generally use to send the traffic and you can access the device using LAN port it's not always necessary to access via console physically go to device and access first time you configure the device assign IP and give the permission to access from LAN then you can access you come to uh, you, you you can access via this LAN port anywhere in your network EO was the very old port then Ethernet 10 Mbps fast Ethernet 100 Mbps gigabit 1 gig then 10 gig and uh, different different types of speeds also based on the port when ports commonly we have serial ports and rj11 mostly in, in this router you don't see rj11 you have serial ports mostly these ports are called van port to connect uh, uh, connections like t1 connection 
T1 वन E1 वन कनेक्शन और सम आई एस डी एन पोर्ट्स ऑल्सो अवेलेबल लाइक बी आर आई एंड पी आर आई सम अदर पोर्ट्स दीज आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड वैन पोर्ट्स सो कॉमनली दिस पोर्ट इज हियर फॉर T1 वन और ई वन वॉट एवर द स्पीड यू गैट नाउ यू हैव USB USB port generally we use to store some file or save or take the backup of the device insert the pen drive and take the backup or upload whatever files you have in the pen drive that's again uh, the new port nowadays we are using so sometimes you will see uh, the normal USB port or sometimes you will see micro USB port there is one another uh, slot available here i can say blank slot this is for SSD and this device is modular device uh, we have modular device and fixed device modular device where you can add some additional modules and cards but in fixed device you cannot add just like i give the example the home basic router uh, wifi router at home that is a fixed device you cannot add any additional card this is a power supply Code power supply button. Okay, now I talk about internal components of router. So internal components. Let's see. Uh, we can compare with PC. PC has a, a processor. PC has system bus, backing store like hard disk, RAM, ROM, operating system, I/O interface, keyboard, mouse, display. So only the thing uh, here in router we don't have is keyboard like we don't have lot lots of other things let me go back and yeah okay so we don't have keyboard mouse display we access this device in pc so router also has all these types of uh, circuits internal circuit here is the fan cooling fan power supply unit here these are for modules you can add extra uh, cards here for extra put so here ram is used for what there is a special purpose for ram running os the operating system once you start your router router is gonna uh, load this ios or the operating system into ram then running configuration file whatever the configuration changes you make that's going to store uh, store in ram ip routing table and arp table also temporarily stored in ram packet buffer packet buffer when router receives tons of packets immediately and router takes some some time to forward those packets then router is going to store some packets in special memory called buffer and uh, ram can be used uh, as a buffer also rom rom has a special type of uh, program in cisco router i am talking about is a bootstrap program this bootstrap program just like bios we have bios in our computer same type of operating system we have in rom and that is again non removable so bootstrap program tells router okay where your operating system is located we call it mini ios also mini operating system uh, in the router nvram if we talk about why do we need nvram because there, there is one ram and there is special another ram is nvram the nvram generally they have given uh, additionally because uh, uh, because of storing the configuration whatever we save so whatever configuration is running and we want to save and want to take the backup of running configure running config we are going to store in nvram we can store in flash but that option is not available because if flash or the operating system is not available that's okay but if you are uh, the configuration which you saved that is not available you don't find the backup of your configuration then that's going to be uh, a, a dangerous point where you are standing on Okay, some other things I'm gonna talk about. Uh, flash. Okay, so let me take this out.
how to use the router there are two methods to use a router one is cli and one is gui in the cli of course we are going to access everything in command prompt and in gui you can use some tools to access you can access your router in a uh, web browser using https or http you can access your router using some third party tool or some uh, proprietary tools com coming from uh, companies so you require simulator tool to access uh, uh is my mistake actually these are simulator tools uh, these are emulator tools i can call it emulator not simulator it's emulator okay so putty secure crt hyper terminal these tools you can use to access your device directly so what do you need to access one you require is your pc pc must be connected to your router via here i'm going to draw this okay router and the cable will be console cable first time and here you require is like i'm using putty directly open putty select the serial port and that's all you can configure your router directly or you can use web browser anything you like you can use this type of cable as i told console cable is mandatory here this cable is uh, available in market if you do not have this port db9 which is called serial port then you can use converter db9 to usb converter that is again available in market so db9 to usb converter here like this you can use and you can connect your router to your usb port and you can access again using these tools that's again really good thing okay now uh, if you configure your router the next time you can access your router from your network and you can access from anywhere if you configure ip address and you provide username and password you can access via lan or wan you don't require physical access of the box so here is the example you require the cable if you are directly connecting your pc and router then you require here is cross cable cross our cable and uh, you must have ip then both the devices must be in the same ip address range then you can access the router so we have talked about what is router we have talked about why do we need router and what are the internal components external components and how can we access the router thank you for watching the video if you like please subscribe the video if you have any query comment uh, down below bye bye